tourism, and, and uh, we've had Gordon Orr uh, on the show recently, and we're talking about some of the initiatives that they have going. One of the things that came up at council recently was the uh, the Belle Isle races, mm -hmm. and there were some members on council that were not too. There's really you know cash in. What are we really getting out of it? Are you satisfied with what you get out of the Belle Isle Grand Prix racing uh, over the last say three years? You you have enough facts. You know, compared to what other counselors were asking. Sure, I, that I can we only would put fifty thousand U.S. Absolutely, oh, fifty thousand Canadian. Canadian, sorry. so fifty thousand Canadian. I think that roughly translates to about thirty-six thousand yeah. U.S. Uh, I'll only speak for myself, and I'm satisfied. I'll let other counselors speak for yeah. themselves if they are or aren't. Uh, but when I look at that, I, it, it ties into our twenty-year vision uh, of cooperation with the city of Detroit. It ties into our two-nation destination tourism theme that we've used to attract Super Bowl here, that we've used to attract WrestleMania here, that we've used to attract. Red Bull Air races here. Laugh at the WrestleMania stuff. Right. Yeah. Uh, did you go? What's that? Did you go to the WrestleMania I stuff? I did go to the WrestleMania. No, no but I, they, they had a little thing. I did go and meet a couple of But WrestleMania people. in itself is Punk. a huge event. C C CM Punk. CM yeah. Punk. Yeah. That was my... Yeah, it's, it's a huge event that draws people from all around the world to come here. And really, when we're in a very unique position because we are next to the city of Detroit, and there is a long history of friendship and cooperation there. And the Belle Isle Grand Prix, in my opinion, ties into that. And it allows us to really build up the two-nation destination. So when we're out there trying to attract other events, we say, hey, listen, come to Windsor, come to Essex County, enjoy our city, enjoy our, enjoy our wineries, our national parks, everything of that accord. But we also say, but we're next to the city of Detroit, so you could come visit Canada and you could come visit the United States. And the, Two and nation the good destination. Thing, Mayor uh, Duggan uh, and in Detroit has really, there's such revitalization. It's, it's written about New York Times of articles, a lot of magazines about the new Detroit. Uh, which is great, a lot of good history and everything. Um, so let's talk, you've never been to the Belle Isle races. I myself have never been. I asked attended. you that, you, yes. you've never been there. No, I haven't. So Look forward to going this year. Perhaps. You're gonna go this year? I'm gonna try to. So obviously the question came up in, in discussions, is do we get tickets or who gets tickets for being a sponsor and how do those tickets get given away? That's a good question, I'd have to look into that. I'm not entirely sure uh, how that goes about. Uh, I don't know if it's through the mayor's office or tourism. Uh, but, but is that, there X I'd amount of tickets that that get to be used for it? I'm not sure. I'd have to look into that. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, you're comfortable with Transit Windsor and what they've done and the, being able to do the bus routes and things like that? I think so. Uh, we get a good enough bang for the buck? With respect to the Detroit yeah. Grand Prix? Yeah, and, I mean, when we looked at that report, I think it was up, uh, I think the numbers were up about 1,000 to 2,000 people that were on Transit Windsor going over there. So, you know, when, when you're looking at events like these and, uh, you know, you have to look at them in, in, in a couple folds, right, in a couple different ways. One is this provides, you know, something for our residents to enjoy. And there's a lot of people in, in our city, obviously, that are car enthusiasts, that are racing enthusiasts, not only in Windsor, but in our region, in, in Michigan as well. This is a racing uh, area, racing region, and it allows us to provide them access to take part in that with them and their family. It allows us to get in front of, and I think this case, the media center, which was about 200 media outlets. So, uh, you know, having worked in the business environment, I know what it would have cost to get 200 media representatives from 200 but, different but affiliations from, in a room. Yeah, but the question some of the counselors mm -hmm. had about that is, show us the proof that the Windsor name got out mm -hmm. in that media center. Do you have that proof? Uh, absolutely, it was in the report. Now, if if they are if some people are asking for specific me metrics, all they have to do is ask that question, and the reporting will come. But you know as well as I, John, you get in front of a room of 200 media outlets, 200 media representatives, and you're able to tell your story. That's going to benefit you in a positive way automatically, be it in business or out of business. That's going to benefit you. I got to tell you about the gr Grand Prix, uh, the Belle Isle. I got a phone call from friends from Chicago who called me up like on a Thursday, says, "Hey, we're coming to town for this Grand Prix." and we're going to be staying in Windsor. Um, so what are you doing for supper? So, of course, I had to pay for supper and everything. But but so I, I'm just being honest. People from Chicago came all the way. They're big car people. They've, they've done other years. They usually stayed in Southfield. And this year, uh, they stayed down there. So I guess there is some. Yeah, absolutely. And, and when I speak about the two-nation destination, it goes two ways. So if people are coming to Detroit, and the new, De new Detroit, as you mentioned, the revitalization and all the great things they have going across the river, is that's an, a chance for us to take part in that and say, listen, you could come across the, win uh, the river to Windsor as well and take part in everything we have to offer. So the two-nation destination goes both ways, not just from Windsor to Detroit, but to Detroit to Windsor. And what I said on council meeting is an event of that magnitude, 
no business person in the world would have an event of that magnitude attracting that many people and potential dollars and not try to get not try to partake in uh, in any way possible and when you're looking at it a thirty six thousand dollar essentially uh, when you transfer it to US yep. funds is a, is a relatively small amount to take part in such a big event mm -hmm. and, and and then that, when you look at that uh, I understand maybe some members of council uh, weren't in favor of that but when you look at it in the greater scheme of things and the fact that we're not raising taxes to take part in this we're not issuing debt to take part in this we're not taking away from our capital investment to take part of this so you really have to look at it at a balanced approach are we able to do all those great things hold the line on taxes you know invest record amounts in roads and sewers but also you know take part in sponsorships that provides for greater cross-border cooperation and allows our families to enjoy an event and and hopefully attract investment out of it I mean that's the balance I want to try to uh, achieve okay are you are you happy that we're going to be on the world stage during FINA, the world competitions coming up this year? Yes, I'm always happy when Windsor's on the world stage. That might differ me from others, but I think Windsor belongs on the world stage. I think we belong uh, on, the, on the list of great cities. I believe our city's great, as I know you do, and I don't think there's any shame in uh, me saying that, and I don't think there's any shame in anyone saying that our city's great, and we deserve what Toronto has. We deserve what Rio de Janeiro has. We deserve what every great city has, and I'm certainly happy when we take center stage and tell the world that. Do you watch diving competitions personally? Absolutely. In the in the last few years, when FINA was here, I did uh, I did no, go there and attend. No, but on TV, where all the media is coming Absol to watch this. Absolutely. If it's on, especially during the Olympics, this being an Olympic year, I'll definitely be watching diving. It, I think it's one of those sports that you're enthralled in. Uh, you know, it's uh, I'm I'm a sports guy. I, I like any sport, 